Let's state some theorems involving inverses. In all of these theorems, A is going to be a square matrix. Otherwise, we can't talk about A having an inverse. Theorem. If A is invertible, then the matrix equation AX equals B always has a unique solution. And the way we're going to prove this is by direct computation. We're going to find this solution. And we're going to do it by multiplying both sides of this equality by A inverse. A inverse times A is the identity matrix. Vectors are matrices. We don't always think of them that way, but the identity matrix times another matrix is that matrix. The identity matrix is the one of matrix multiplication. So a solution exists and it's unique because we found the solution and there's only one of them. Theorem. If A is invertible, so is A inverse. And the inverse of an inverse is the original matrix. This is so straightforward when you write it down that it can barely be called a proof. The statement that an inverse of a matrix equals something else is the statement that when you take this matrix and multiply it by the something else, you get the identity. And that that's true no matter what order you do the multiplication in. And this is true. This is how we define the inverse. So check on that. The product of two invertible matrices matrices is invertible. And we can do better than that. We can tell you what the product of an invertible of two invertible matrices is. The inverse of a product is the product of the inverses written in reverse order. We sort of blew past transposes, but if this formula looks familiar, it's because we had a very similar result for transposes. Proof. Well, we'll multiply A, B, and 
B inverse, A inverse. And if these really are inverses of each other, the result should be I. Using associativity here, we can move our parentheses around. B times B inverse is the identity. Multiplying by the identity doesn't do anything. And A times A inverse is indeed I. To really complete this proof, we actually need to do two products. Remember that multiplication is not commutative. So just because of this equals I, it doesn't automatically follow that this should equal I. However, the exact same argument we made continues to work. Move around the parentheses. This is the identity. Multiplying by the identity doesn't do anything. And this is I. So that's that theorem proved. I'm just going to squeeze one more theorem in here. And I'm not going to prove it because I already made the observation that we're go not going to do a lot with transposes in this class. But one last theorem. If A is invertible, then A transpose is invertible. And the inverse of a transpose is the transpose of the inverse.